My name is Derek. I served in the Coast Guard as a junior officer, ensign, lieutenant junior grade in Alameda, California. Probably the biggest thing that's more or less uh, dogged me my entire uh, time was in the Coast Guard was when I felt like I was making a significant mistake and others didn't seem to make a similar mistake. I felt inferior. I felt worthless. I felt like I couldn't do anything and um, have a difficult time managing my negative thoughts and emotions that would uh, bring me down, like make me incredibly anxious and uh, put me in a depressive state. Initially, it was actually brought up that the upper class, the, the cadre the, that were training us through that first summer actually uh, pulled me aside and actually got me scheduled to see the psychiatrist on base a couple times over that first summer. The next time was when I was going in for some academic assistance for a paper in English class that I was really be, being really anxious because I was I was quite distraught that I wasn't doing as well in that class as I would have liked and I wasn't sure what I was doing with the papers was cutting it. I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong and I was quite visibly and quite uh, clearly distressed and then I was referred there and I, I went to some sessions until I started feeling like I could manage better on my own. These sessions and sessions later would be something called cognitive behavioral therapy, looking at this kind of stepping aside and looking at the thoughts on their own, seeing why they arise, and seeing if there's a way that I can better uh, put them in perspective to see that maybe what I'm also worked up about or anxious about really isn't that major a problem in the grand scheme of things, and that if there's a way that I could refocus my attention, refocus my thoughts, that I could break that cycle and hopefully have a more uh, balanced and stable, positive mood and frame of thought. I've had more time to think and put distance between me and the events of the past that ruminating on it isn't so vivid, isn't so uh, present anymore. That that also seems to help. But I've also been trying different treatments, getting a little more different perspectives on issues. But it seems that the combination of what I'm going through now seems to be working at any rate. I think it's important to talk about this because I think there's still, as far as I know, still this mentality, this, this stigma in the military about being able to tough it out, being able to be strong, be self-reliant, and not really get help even if you really need it. If the feelings and thoughts you have are too difficult to handle on your own, that if things don't seem to be getting any better, that there is no shame, there is no weakness in getting help. There is no amount of time that can really be said to be a waste if it's spent in trying to get better.